Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. But when 47 discovers that the shadow client is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend, he and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. However, the Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Look closer. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power. A hidden hand. A kind of company known as Providence. To it, we were just assets to use and throw away, to do the unthinkable, the unforgivable, and it never gave us a second thought until now. After decades in the shadows, we are fighting back, me and 47. Much has been lost, but we are closer than ever. We trapped the Constant, Providence's chief controller, and finally learned the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. And, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. Partners are down there. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. Wait, is that a beacon? What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar Al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Right. 
This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives with the flick of a pen. Today, we return the favor. Happy hunting. Welcome to Dubai, 47. Today is the inauguration of the scepter, and the ceremony is well underway. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Good luck, 47. That's your winning face. I'd hate to see you lose. We underestimated the constant. Yeah, he's a glorified desk clerk. He's not just after the money. He wants it all. We caught him once. We can do it again. And, well, we're not the ones who let him escape. You still don't trust her. I don't like executive decision makers. Look. You don't have to follow her, you know? Soon, this will be over. Maybe it's time to think about the future. You have to face the possibility that there's no going back. If the ICA knows what you did... She'll make it right. She always does. We have a fix on Carlisle. Come on. We've got a plane to catch. I hope you like the rain, 47. Miss Burnwood. How did you... I have everyone's number. You really ought to know by now. You planned this. All of it. Don't be silly. I just played the hand I was dealt. And... We'll find you. You had me. Where'd that get you? We handed you an empire. It's for the best. The partners were complacent, set in their ways. But power is more than just security. Providence can be an agent of change. Surely you understand. Or you will. Soon enough. You gonna take us all on? Don't. Yeah! Tell the Constant to start running! You think you've won? 47 is out there. And 47 never misses his mark. Neither do you, Miss Burnwood. That's what makes you valuable. You're delusional. You think I would betray 47? Trust me. You owe him nothing. What is this? I told you we could help each other. And I meant it. I look forward to your call. Gray is gone. Go to Berlin and stay out of sight.
are all that's left now. You're hurt. You should see the other guy. Never killed nobody before. What you did back there. You really are all Grey said you'd be. 47. He didn't suffer, did he? He made it count. but not broken. I'm glad. It's time we start afresh, you and me. Get to the point. You and your friends pulled off the impossible. You stormed the heavens, took down the untouchables, and yet, here we are. Status quo. It just goes to show, you can't fight power, Miss Burnwood. Power never dies, it only changes hands. The best you can do is claim it. I never cared about power. Power is a tool, Miss Burnwood. It's the thing that gets you to the thing. As the next constant, you can be the agent of change. Transform the system from the inside, or be transformed by it. No risk, no reward. I need to think about it. No, you won't. The real question is, what will you bring to the table? We turn now to the data leak bombshell causing shockwaves across the world. The so-called ICA files. The disclosure of a... You win. So, what happens now? The ball's in your court, Miss Burnwood. I do have other candidates, you know. Most of whom have never tied me to a chair. You've seen the news. That was 47 acting on his own. He is untethered. He is unstoppable. And he cannot be bargained with. He will find you, Mr. Edwards. And I'm the only chance you've got. I'm listening. 47 has one weakness. Me. How did you know? Your deal. That kind of power always comes with a price. What's yours? I think you know. I am sorry. This is a necessary evil. What have you done? Ether Brand's neurotoxin, transfers by touch. See, Edwards learns by his mistakes, 47. And as you've clearly demonstrated, brute force is futile. It had to be me. It was the only way. To get this close. My family. I know what you did. After all these years, I finally know. I am sorry. You didn't have a choice. I did. Providence used you, but I'm no better. All I saw was a blank slate, a weapon to wield. I told myself it was what you needed, but people aren't meant to be controlled. This is a kindness. Goodbye, Agent.
string of resignations at the top level of international finance continues as Milton Fitzpatrick CEO Alexander Fannin joins the president of Hamilton Oil, while he meets on his own plan and a bunch of other things steps down. It's been a long time, Agent 47. That's not who I am anymore. The pact is done. The past. Death. And yet, here you are. I choose this path because I can. There will always be people like them. So there will always be people like us. No one is untouchable. It's good to be back.